today I'll be telling you a little bit about snake bites. Now in our country we have over 300 species of snakes of which only 13 are venomous and out of this four are the really important ones which account for most of the venomous snake bites that is our cobra, the crate, the russell viper and the saw scaled viper. How does this venom affect our bodies? Now once the venom enters our body it affects us in three major ways. One it causes tissue damage in the local areas, cell damage in the local areas. Secondly, it could be neurotoxic toxin where it causes muscle paralysis, eventually causing respiratory failure and death. Thirdly, they can affect the clotting of our blood and these patients would bleed to death literally. In Russell viper and uh, saw scaled viper, these vipers, they cause uh, affect, they affect the bleeding, uh, the coagulation profile. So these patients would present with continuous bleeding at the site of fang bites or they could have gum bleed, they could have conjunctival hemorrhages or you could find bruises anywhere else in the body, bleeding in the urine. So all these are indicative of affected coagulation profile. So now we come to what actually has to be done once we see a patient with snake bite. The moment you find a patient has had this, first thing, reassure them. They should not get worried. Make the patient lie down flat immediately, no movement. The affected limb has to be kept either flat or at a lower level than the heart. We have to immobilize this limb. This is very similar to the immobilization we do when there's a fracture. So use a hard object like a rod or a stick or a plank of wood and you tie this to the limb with some piece of cloth so that the limb doesn't move at all. So I'll also tell you what not to do in a snake bite. So if you have a person who has a snake bite, don't let him run. Don't let them get worried because apprehension, anxiety will lead to more a bigger heart rate, more blood supply and the venom spreads faster in the body. Then there are people we see in the movies, they cut the wound and they suck out, when try to suck out venom from that. This is of no use. It wastes time in reaching the hospital and the total amount of venom, no matter how good you suck, just 2% of the venom gets sucked out. Some people talk of being alcohol being given to these patients to reduce the pain. Alcohol again will improve, increase the uh, blood supply to the body and the venom will move much more faster in the body. And lastly, a small advice, how can we prevent snake bites? So if you are in an area where snake bites are possible, wear large, large big boots to prevent snake bites, if a person is sleeping out in the open, it's better to sleep in a closed tent or just a simple mosquito net covering you completely can prevent snake bites while you're sleeping. So stay safe friends and you should know how to deal if you ever come into such a situation. Thank you so much.